Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. Guess who invested in lighting? This girl, this girl. Okay, so we got products of the day and then I'm gonna show you, I was gonna do um, an, a review of Brave Writer because two of the programs I love, one I would throw in the trash, but I found the most, oh my gosh, has to be my favorite curriculum at the moment that I'm gonna show you through, I'm gonna show you in. So first up, because this is, oh, welcome to the Homeschool Shopping Channel. If you haven't been here before, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you come back. I do not take any affiliates or sponsorships for showing you any curriculum at all. I don't do it. So when I give you a review, you may not like what I say, you may like it, but it's not sponsored on any level. So how I make money, currently $54 this month so far, is if you subscribe, share, and like my video and watch my video. Okay, so this is, look at this. Walmart, 14 bucks. I want to say $14. Got it yesterday, so it is in stores. And it is sand art. I'm sure maybe you've done sand art. Maybe you've forgotten about it. Just little containers. It comes with a funnel. And you, you drop little, little pieces of sand. Little containers of sand to make some colorful, colorful, colorful creations. So there you go. If you haven't considered sand art in a while, might be something to pull out. Might be some kind of fun to do. <gasps> a birthday party with some sand art activities. Now let me show you into a really cool book. So let me preface this by saying that I am looking for a, I'm looking for a book about Jesus's life for children. So if you see any, if you know of any, let me know. This is one of the closer ones. This is, ooh. This is Growing Up Where Jesus Lived. This is a Becca, see that's a 2H, which means it is something that you read in second grade down to the H, because they have A to, I don't know, I wanna say H to be honest. But this is Growing Up Where Jesus Lived. So this is the closest I've come. So this book retails for about $14, has about 133 pages. And let's just take a quick look inside. So if you see here, this is their reading program, which is essentially, I've showed it to you a few times, but these are just all the readers per grade. I have them up to fourth grade. It is the most expensive homeschool purchase I have made. So this is the topics. Where would you live? If you grew up in Jesus' time, what would the weather be like? What would you wear? What would you eat? What kind of chores would you have? Things like that. So there's a map. There's introduction. It's got some words to watch for. So chapters are pretty short, and then it's got some questions. There is a teacher's manual. I have not got it. I find you don't need the teacher's manuals for these, although... If you have the money, it does add something to it. And if you only have one child or that, you know, you got the time, then where would you live? So it's very interesting. So this is kind of as close as I've come so far. And then those represent, when you look them up, I believe you look them up in the back, I forget now. And it's got like, it has um, matching quotes in the Bible, I want to say. Something like that. Something along those lines. I know it would be helpful if I knew, right? Oh, well. So growing up where Jesus lived. Okay, so let's get everything set up here. Okay, so it's generations. I can't believe I stumbled upon it. I was watching a video. If I can find the video, I will link it down below. And uh, let me show you through what I love. So we're talking uh, grade one, grade two, and grade three. Okay, so what I love besides the price, oh my gosh. So I have been searching for a good Bible curriculum. I've been searching and searching and searching and the best I could find was, well, let me get some Bibles. I mean, I have a few different ones, but let me get some, let me get some kids Bibles. We'll go through it and we'll discuss what we think um, God is trying to tell us through the stories. No need, do not need to anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the, I want you to see my face and not just the side of my head, but I don't know if I can do that. <gasps> what about if I did this? Oh, does that work? Am I getting you in a shadow? I don't know. I don't know. I've never had good lighting before. I don't know. All right, so let's go grade one curriculum package because I'm going to show you what I'm going to buy. So first of all, without math, $229. So it's about 200 bucks. Now, I would caution you against getting the math only because it only goes up to grade two. Uh, I wish they had it. What I like is this math. I would specifically, I'm only familiar with the grade one edition of the math. But what I would say is it is excellent for that child who doesn't want to give you a lot of time, like understands the concepts, just want to learn the basic concepts and get on with his life. So not one that you got to drill him and go through a bunch and, and you got to find different ways to teach him it. It's like here, this is it. He can figure it out in his head and move on. So I wish they had a third grade math available because that's the level I'm looking for for one child. So I still don't know what math I'm going to use for that one child. I don't know. I haven't found it yet, but let's look through. Let's go down here 
I got a slide down. Oh, go to includes. That's why I go, is I go to includes. Now, the family read alouds, I'm not a fan of those, so I wouldn't buy the whole package, but I've never read them. So right now it says at the top that if you build your own bundle, you get 40% off. Great, but I didn't look through them. They're just, they're about Christians and great Christians that have accomplished great things. So it's got two, three elements in here that I love. Oops, what am I looking at? God's big story. So what I love is it's, so it's like your Bible. It's telling you of the Bible, but it recreates it. It goes through it again at grade two. It goes through it again at grade three but it adjusts it based on the audience. So it's not like sunlight where it's like, here's one book that you're gonna use for grades one through three, and it's a family style. No, it's specific to that child. And that is what I like. So this is the price with the activity book as well. Otherwise, I, and it's on sale right now. If you look down there, it says $68 is normally. That's another thing I hear about this company is that they do do, Generations does do a lot of sales. Okay, so we're gonna go sample textbook. So this is for the, this is God's Big Story. It's one of the couple elements I really love about this program. It covers science, not this, but the company covers science, covers history, and covers uh, Bible study. Okay, so these are the stories in the Bible it covers to the parent teacher. I did not read that. <laughs> Just a heads up. <laughs> uh, God makes a good world. Okay, so you're reading through. So see, it's very simple. God made all things. He has a plan. It's a good plan. Now look what it's got great pictures, right? It's got some good pictures, some good art going on. And then, so it tells how he makes the earth. And then at the end, then God said, let there be light. So it does reference about, but this is the faith lessons. So this changes per age as does the story, but it's got God has a plan. God is wise and good man and God rests on day seven. So that is the grade one. I'm not gonna go with the grade one. I'm gonna go with the... I'll show you inside. Let's look at the sample workbook. I'm going to go with the grade two level to start because I, is this the grade one? Yeah, I'm going to go with the, the grade two level. The grade three has too much text. I'm big into, that's why I don't like family programs is because I don't want too much text. I like pictures. I like, you know, interesting um, things like that. So I don't like too much text. So going down now, it's interesting is that they have, so <laughs> in all their books, they have the, you know, the layout of what you're discussing and it, I don't know. It doesn't seem like I almost want to be like, okay, hey, read two chapters a week or something like that. Like you don't need to, they don't need to have gone through all this, but I guess you can check it off. All right. So let's take a look at some exercises. Oh, see, these are pre-primer, primer, first grade. Th these are the adult sight word cards. If your child has trouble with sight words, get the frazzles sight word cards. It adds a new mnemonic device to it. Your child will learn them like that so fast, so fast. Okay, fill in the missing letters. Kind of fun. Rhyme time. Pick a letter in the box to complete each word. Do they rhyme? So not necessary, but maybe fun, right? Maybe that's your thing. Uh, yeah, there you go. So kind of cool, kind of interesting. Not a lot of pictures in it. Just a lot of your child needs to know how to handwrite. I'm big into things that don't have, that you don't have to handwrite because I would have to handwrite for my children at this point. Neurodiverse children are like that. They don't have a lot. Okay, so let's go back. Grade one curriculum. Let me show you something else sweet on here. The God made everything set. And then there's the story of Jesus set. So let me show you God made everything. I think I'm getting this one. I'm not getting the level two. I'm getting the level one and I'm getting the level three. What we do during breakfast is I just read through the textbooks as long as they're interesting enough. So that's why I read through it and I thought it was pretty interesting. I know I'm all over the page here. <laughs> okay, view sample. All right, you ready? Okay, you are. God made everything. Look, hi, I'm Beamer. Beamer is, he is a light beam. Hi, Beamer. He's gonna take you through the book. So we got, we're covering light, bending light, other kinds of light. Earth is big. It is. <laughs> Outer space, parts of a plant, <laughs> insects, stuff like that. So um, I already did a Becca science a couple years with them. I'm gonna do a couple years more because the textbooks are so fast and easy. Now it always has, so right before it goes into the lesson that I've noticed, it has a unit. So you do unit one and then it goes lesson one and unit one has a song and it tells you how you can search for that song online to listen to. So I think that's kind of interesting. So we got some decent pictures and look, not too much text, but it's got the, the definitions that you're looking for are highlighted. So and then I like that it, how, how it sorts everything. Like, look, Beamer's list of light jobs. 
of light's job. What is light? Light is the energy we can see. And then it's got light usually moves in a straight line. So it has the summary of what's important. Usually I'll take the summary from here and I will put it in their binder. I've heard their binders a million times. All right, so anyway, I'm just in love with these books. It's not, now it says time to do activity two in the book. So we could take a look and I'll see if that's something I would do because maybe as a group we would sit down and we would take a look at it. Workbook, table of contents, bouncing off the walls and everything, light to warn and guide, color, shadows, reflection, bending light, day and night, and fuel and weird light. It's interesting, science tools, blah, 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 rock hunt. So these look like activities that can be done pretty easily. Wow, there's a lot of them. Holy moly. Holy moly, there's a lot of them. All right, so let's take a look. Do they have an activity I can see? Intro, skipping that. How do I do that? I skip it. All right, suggested schedule. Eh, I don't listen to that either. Supply list. I want to make sure that there's nothing weird I got to get. No, looks like pretty standard stuff. Not bad. Those are my favorite science curriculums. Those are my favorite science curriculums. Oh, you need a lot of food for one. It's all stuff I think I can get at the grocery store. Okay, so we're scrolling down. It's nice, it's got a supply list ready to go. I admire those moms or those dads who can get all the supplies together and sort them by week. If you get a supply box, usually you still need to find a bunch of stuff. That's it, that's it, nothing? Oh, I passed it. Um, so I'm probably gonna skip this. Light bounces off things the way a ball does. If you roll a ball straight at the wall, it comes right back to you. Now it also says this in the book as well. So no, I'm gonna skip this, pretend to be light. Sing this hymn, for, sing the hymn for the unit. Write or repeat the memory verse. No, I'm gonna skip that, I'm not gonna get that. I'm thinking about getting this one. So we can view the sample textbook here. Okay, the story of Jesus's people is by generations. Let's take a look. So this is interesting because this is history. So at first I was super excited because I thought it was the story of Jesus and it was the story of Jesus' people, which as far as I can tell is just all people because I was reading because it does, it goes to different continents and things like that as you get up in years. So let's take a look at introduction. We know I skipped that. The importance of parents and education. Good, I'm glad you recognize that. Skipping, 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 skipping. Okay, God is writing a story. So in the beginning, here we go, heaven and earth. Whose story is it? Our generation shall pray. Okay, then it's got something from the Bible. So this just looked very interesting. God started this story when he created the world. You probably learned about Adam and Eve and Abraham and Joseph and King David. These people are part of God's story. We can read the history about them in the Bible. When Jesus came to earth, God kept writing his story. Have you learned about Peter and John and Paul? They're part of the story too. Okay, it goes on. Helping little children and widows. In Rome, parents sometimes killed their children if they didn't want them anymore. They didn't take care of the old or sick people, but the Christians knew this was wrong. We must care for the people who need help, they said. We must love them in the same way Jesus has loved us. So I like that caring um, thing that they have going on while discussing history. Okay, so I think I'm going to try this and we'll see how it goes. I'm debating. I have so many history things that I love. What's one more? What's one more? I can't find any of this stuff used, by the way. But I want to show you like the most exciting part of this um, curriculum, but we're not there yet. We're almost there. The most exciting part. Okay, so that's, so I think I'm getting the God made everything set. <laughs> show you what I'm going to skip. And I'm going to skip everything else. Just because unfortunately that math, oh, it looks so good. It, it, I mean, it looks pretty good, but nope, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, so curriculum, second grade. Is second grade where, oh yes, this is just released, along with the second grade math, just released is the, let me show you, let me show you, let me show you, this is what I wanted, is right down here. As soon as I saw this, I was like, that's it, I'm, I'm getting it. And that was the first thing I ordered. I didn't even pay attention, and I shouldn't have gotten the, the workbook, but that's how I roll is. Sometimes I just am so inspired to get something, I get it. Okay, we got God's Big Story Level 2. This is what I'm starting with for my third grader and my sixth grader. This is what I'm starting with. So take a look. This is the sample workbook. So before I get to the super exciting thing, this is what I'm starting with for Bible. This is the Bible we're going to... I don't need any other Bibles. Um, not at the moment. Anyway, I can stop looking for the 47 ones I was looking. Okay, so it's got basically same stories, even more stories to the teacher and parent didn't read. 
No idea of the book approach. Don't know. Just going to read it. Okay, so here we go. It created all things, right? So we're back to the beginning. Nice, some nice artwork. A little bit more text. Adam fell asleep. Then he took a rib out of Adam. God made Adam fall asleep. They took a rib out of his side. They made woman. Interesting. Keep going. So as you saw up on this last page, there's a little bit more Bible. If you will, the quote's a little bigger. And now God made all things. God is good. God made her help of her. God rested on the seventh day. It's got some vocabulary in there, which I mean, really, that's such minor vocabulary, but sure. Um, but okay. So God gave Adam and Jesus. Okay. So then we start into the next one and that's how it goes through. So I, th I think it's uh, interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm definitely a hundred percent getting it. 100% getting it, but let's look at the sample workbook. Although, judging from the other one, I'm not, not super impressed, but let's see. I accidentally ordered the, this one workbook from here. I'll show it to you next. That's what I'm going to show you. Is there science for this year? I cannot wait. I hear my phone ringing or someone's phone ringing. I don't know who's. Okay. Build your own sentence. What did we learn? Rhyme time, word search, what happened? Faith lesson, let's study the Bible. The Dolch sight word list, again, frazzles, 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 sight word cards. I'm telling you. Okay. All right, so no, it's a lot of handwriting. These uh, you can point out. It just, I'm not gonna get it, but I'll show you. Uh, rhyme time, rhyme time, word search, blah, 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 blah. That's all right, we don't need that. All right, let's go back. I'm gonna show you the thing that won me over that was like, this is amazing. I, this is super, super cool. I guess there's a couple things. God made plants set. Oh no, no. Like it's a lot of plants. Like I'll show you in it. Oh my gosh, so this is their science for this year. I guess that's not, God made plants. <laughs> oh my goodness. The other day I was like, I don't like nature. Like I finally just accepted it. I like looking at it, but I, I'm sorry. I don't like touching it. And my son was like, do you like honey? Do you like maple syrup? Do you like fruits? Do you like vegetables? My six-year-old. And I was like, yes. He's like, then you like nature. I got you there, he says. I was like, yeah, you got me. Okay. Workers, grasslands, flower, 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 deserts, lovely leaves, leave, photosynthesis. Nope. Roots. Oh my gosh, plants in special places, the tundra. Like we we already covered like certain, the grasslands. There's so many science curriculums, we, we covered a bunch of that. All you need is that um, that book. I forget what book it is, but anyway. Any book really will cover that. Fall produce, ugh. So there's just way too much plant stuff. Way too much plant stuff. Way too much plant stuff. Does not interest me any. God fills the earth with plants. I think that's great. Good for God. He did a great thing. I'm not saying he didn't. Oh, I can't even look at it. Let there be food. I think that's great. Shows a little uh, food chain going on there. All right. I'm out. I'm done. That doesn't... No, I can't sit through a whole textbook of flowers and plants. I know. You should be like, you should. Huh, well... There's a lot of things I should do. Okay, then the next step would be Jesus taking the Middle East set. It's the same as uh, the people's story for Jesus. Like, this is the next level. I think it's I think it's good. But I think I'm getting the first level first. And let's go to curriculum once more. We will go to show you the cream of the crop. The cream of the crop, God made me. Yes, he did. Let's check this out. Check this out. This is what made me fall in love with it. This is it's to be released. So I pre-ordered it. Expected to ship July. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get it. So 204 is the whole package. So the big, God's big story level three. Here it gets to be too much text with Bible wise, so I'm not gonna get it. Um, the God made me set, which for some odd reason, I ordered the set and I didn't wanna order the set, but I was just, it was like an impulse purchase as if I was buying gum at a store. God made me sample. <laughs> so I'm not disappointed because it was like 70 bucks by the time I hit in shipping for it to come. So let's hope seeing this again Science, worldview, generations, God made me. Look at this. This is heart pump. Thump the pump, and this is puff, puff of air. All right, it tells you all the amazing things God did to make your body so amazing. But what I like is God used DNA. 
because one of my children wants to learn about that. It's got blood, it's got life, it's got cells, it's got neurons, eyesight, sense of touch, clean your blood. God heals your wounds. God gives you strong bones. Nice. Okay, so let's take, oh, let me read through the rest. Hormones for you, healing, making things new again. So let's go through and take a look at a chapter. Introduction, we got a little bit of uh, quotes from the Bible there going on. Is this what I'm supposed to be reading? Probably. Here we go, unit one, look how bright this is. God made man purpose. Remember the units, the units, they got a little hymn. It tells you how to find it online. You search for the hymn. And then we go down, chapter one, you are unique. See how there's not a lot of text on the page? I'm a huge fan of that. See how the important words are bolded, unique, womb, pregnant, Important words are bolded. Structure, function. How cute, cute, oh my gosh. Surrounded by adorableness. Take time to do activity one. They do not have activity one that I could see. So I don't know, but I got it. I'll show you what comes in. It's got definitions, a cell. Nucleus, so those are some things that I would print off me with some pictures and put from Canva in their books that we would review a few times a week. It only takes like five minutes to review it. Zoom into a cell. So, yep. Yeah, so, I'm very excited about God used DNA to make you. I also like that there's not just uh, white people in this family. I think that's good. Okay. God makes variety. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. There we go. So, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. So, I think that is, ooh, DNA. Nice. I bought science DNA units. Completely disappointed in them. Separately, completely disappointed in them because they said they were literature based. They're not, they weren't anyway. Separate video as I ramble on. So I think that's it. There you go. There you go. Thank you for tuning into the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you had a good time. I hope you come back and I hope you share with a friend. Bye-bye.